Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sansha. I do fashion and styling videos here on YouTube, so lots of style tips, outfit inspiration, but what I am most passionate about is showing you how to get the most out of the pieces that you already own. So not necessarily going out and buying new stuff. So if that is the type of content that you like, please like and subscribe. I would love for you to join the styled family. And also go and give me a follow over on Instagram. I share even more style content over there that I don't want you to miss. So definitely go and give me a follow. I have a series over on Instagram called the essentials list and every time I plan one of these reels I take a different topic and the topic for the one that I posted this past week was summer shoes and it's a question that I get asked so so often um, what shoes should we own for summer um, and how to style them etc etc so um, I shared with you the four styles of shoes that I think we should own for summer. It doesn't cover workwear shoes, but it kind of covers everything else. And when I filmed that reel, I kind of had in mind to film this video to, to show you how I would and would not style shoes. Um, I think shoes are such an important part of an outfit. It can make or break an outfit and it can also, also determine whether or not an outfit is casual or a bit more dressy, but it's also the most difficult part of the outfit to pick. And I know that because a lot of you share with me that you struggle picking out the right shoes. You don't know when to style which pair with which outfit etc so this video will hopefully be helpful for a lot of you I'll show you kind of why I would pick one pair of shoes over another and um, why I think a certain pair doesn't work with a certain outfit but please keep in mind that fashion really is subjective um, and if I say I wouldn't wear a certain style of shoe with a specific outfit and you love wearing it like that please go ahead and wear it like that um, but this is just guidelines and style tips for if you are struggling and you don't know which shoes to wear with which outfit. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first style of shoes we're going to look at are flat sandals. Now, when it comes to picking a pair of shoes for an outfit, there are actually two things that I take into account. The first thing is whether or not the shoes actually go with the pieces in my outfit. So um, do the styles complement each other? Are they too extreme and kind of seem mismatched? So that's the first thing I look at. And then the second thing I look at is whether or not the shoes actually make the outfit more flattering in terms of the proportions um, where it cuts off my leg etc um, so is it flattering with the outfit or will another pair of shoes be more flattering so first off we have this pair of gold metallic strappy sandals now I've actually been on the hunt for a pair like this for so so long because it is a really useful flat sandal to have to dress up an outfit because of the metallic it feels a bit more dressy um but in the first clip i wanted to show you how i would not style these flat sandals and that is with a pair of tailored heavy cotton shorts like i have on in the clip and the reason being is that um the styles just don't complement each other and i think they are on opposite sides of the spectrum when it comes to style so these sandals are very dainty and they feel a bit more feminine and overall I think the heavy cotton tailored shorts just feel really heavy um, and actually too heavy for these sandals so I think in this case this would not be the best option for styling with these shorts but this pair would definitely be a good option. The fact that it is leather, it has a thick leather strap going over the front, um, it is more visible on the foot so automatically it feels a bit more sturdy or substantial <laughs> rather. Um, I think this just um, holds its own against those more masculine tailored shorts. So this is definitely a good option in this case. Now where these sandals come in really handy is styling with all of those beautiful flowy summer dresses. 
whether it is a maxi midi or a shorter dress these are just a great shoe option in general um, because they are really dainty they kind of go with the feminine style of those flowy linen dresses that all of us love for summer and because I'm the metallic it's really nice shoe option to dress up an outfit or to dress up those beautiful summer dresses um, for all of you that that don't wear heels or can't wear heels this is a great dressy shoe option um, I just love a metallic just for um, giving that extra something that bit of pizzazz to an outfit so um, I specifically got these flat gold strappy sandals for all of my summer dresses the next style of shoes that I want to talk about um, is a pair of chunky sandals. Now I can already feel that this is going to be a very controver controversial um, discussion because I know a lot of you don't love chunky sandals and you know what? Um, a couple of years ago I tried the dad sandal trend and um, I bought myself a pair and I just did not get along with them because of the thick strap I had over the ankle. But when I found these, um, they're just much more my style. It goes with basically my entire wardrobe. And I actually, I felt a need to have a pair of chunky sandals in my wardrobe. There were a lot of times when I put together, the, together an outfit and I thought to myself, gosh, I wish I had a pair of chunky sandals because this would have looked really, really good. So, um, chunky sandals. So, how I would not style them is in the clip you'll be able to see where I styled it with a long skirt now on me this skirt is a maxi length so it hits me right below my ankle um, and a very long skirt like this or even a dress paired with a chunky sandal I think can make the outfit just look very bottom heavy um, like your eyes are automatically drawn to the bottom part of the outfit because there's just a lot going on and there's also not really a gap between where the skirt ends and the shoe starts so I think this is not a very flattering way to wear a pair of chunky sandals um, and how I would kind of improve this outfit is just change where the skirt hits so I changed out of the maxi skirt and went for a midi skirt and there's not much of a difference in length but just enough to actually make a difference with the chunky sandals so it shows a bit of leg um, it automatically draws the eye towards the point of the foot so it has an elongating effect and it doesn't feel as bottom heavy anymore because you can actually see a part of my leg so I think chunky sandals in general look great with anything that is not a maxi length when it comes to skirts or dresses um, these actually look really great with long wide leg trousers um, where kind of the trouser goes over the shoe um, but when it comes to skirts and dresses I would recommend going for something midi length um, where you can actually see a part of your leg and that way it doesn't look too um, bottom heavy down at the bottom um, and also certain mini skirts and shorts would also look great Speaking of shorts, um, in the next clip I styled these chunky sandals with a pair of denim shorts and in all honesty this is an outfit that I would wear but I do appreciate that for a lot of you this, this sandal is just very very chunky um, and it might not feel like it's the most flattering option for you. So in that case if you are looking to add a chunky sandal to your wardrobe instead of something that has really thick straps um, that is really really wide I would suggest going for something that is a bit more minimalistic so still a chunky sandal but it's not as wide of a style and it also has thinner straps and again it doesn't make it look really bottom heavy the moment you go for thinner straps so um, if you find that you are struggling to find a good chunky sandal for you um, consider going for something that just has a thinner strap more of a minimalistic style um, and that way you won't feel as though it is too chunky okay so still keeping with the chunky sandal when it comes to dresses 
I would not style my chunky sandals with a very feminine linen dress. I know a lot of people are wearing it like that at the moment. I personally think that's more of a trend rather than like a chic, timeless outfit combination. So um, in the clips, you'll be able to see what these chunky sandals look like with one of my linen dresses. Um, I think there's just like too big of a difference between the style of the dress and the style of the shoes. So um, I would not go for an overly feminine, flowy, puff sleeve dress. Instead, I would pair my chunky sandals with a dress that is a lot simpler. So more simplistic, clean lines. Um, it kind of doesn't doesn't scream overly feminine or girly um, and I think that style works a lot better with a chunky sandal next up we have sneakers now this is the pair of sneakers I shared in the reel I posted um, and this is by far my most versatile pair of sneakers but I want to just throw in this chunky pair because I know a lot of you own it and sometimes it can be kind of difficult figuring out which style of sneaker works best with an outfit. So I'm going to show you um, options that work with each of these styles. So starting with the chunky sneaker, I actually styled it with that same white linen maxi dress. And again, it's with the styles that don't kind of complement each other. They don't match. So the dress is really feminine, nice and flowy and then these are just really really casual it almost looks like a gym shoe I know it's not but that's kind of the vibes you get um, and again it's one of those outfit combinations that everyone is wearing at the moment my opinion it is more of a trend thing um, so not necessarily a chic classic outfit combination um, so I would avoid wearing a chunky sneaker very sporty sneaker like this with a linen dress instead i would go for these they are a lot simpler more clean um streamlined minimalistic and i think these sneakers just go with a lot more um different styles of clothing so um whether it is a very masculine piece or a very feminine piece these are definitely my go-to's um when i want to wear a pair of sneakers um when it comes to skirts this is also the most flattering option in the cutaway you'll be able to see what the skirt looks like with the chunky sneakers and again it's that same as with the chunky sandals it just feels very bottom heavy um, because you've got the long skirt and then you have the very chunky sneaker it's not a very flattering look so i would just swap out the chunky sneakers for these and you know there's not much of a difference in where the shoe hits me um, on my ankle but just the fact that these are a lot slimmer um, and more streamlined than the chunky sneakers definitely make all of the difference so when looking at the best sneakers to go with your longer skirts or even dresses I think it's a style like this is definitely a good option now you will probably ask me so what do I style these chunky sneakers with well I just came back from a trip and it was like a city break and we did a lot of walking and I actually took these with me the weather wasn't super warm so I actually didn't take a lot of dresses and I actually styled these with all of my longer pants so linen tailored trousers um, jeans normal trousers you name it and these actually look really great styled with those but as we head into the warmer weather where it might be too hot for trousers I think these look really great with denim shorts um, if that look feels very casual to you I would just put on maybe a blazer or something that feels a bit smarter um, I think there is enough leg on show so that these don't feel too bottom heavy so there's kind of a nice balance in proportions um so for now i would just wear these with my shorts or even if you love wearing skirts i think these will also look great um i would not style them with like biker shorts because i think it will just look like you're going to the gym um but yes with shorts and with skirts 
but for me i see these as more of a, like a spring fall style so if you're looking for a style of sneakers specifically for summer i would highly recommend something like this so the last style of shoes that i want to talk about is heels um and i've got two styles here this is the pair that i showed in my reel and i think just everyone needs a good pair of strappy heels in their summer wardrobe i love white because i think it just really gives a pop to any outfit um but a heel in general even if it's just one pair and a kitten heel it's just great for those occasions when you want to dress up a pair of jeans or just um go a bit more dressy in general so i have this pair of strappy heels and then I have a pair of wedges. Now, um, I specifically picked wedges for two reasons um, to kind of illustrate my explanations when it comes to styling. Number one, it has a really um, bottom heavy heel. So this will be the same as a very chunky block heel. Um, so it's really bottom heavy. And then also it has the straps that wrap around the ankle. And um, I'm going to show you why I pick the strappy sandals above wedges or at least something that is very blocky um, in the heel and wraps around your ankle. So in the first clip, I styled these wedges with a satin slip skirt, um, just a simple tank top and a clutch bag. And um, this is definitely meant to be more of a dressy kind of date night look. But the reason that I feel these wedges don't work with the outfit is because they seem a very casual number one with the outfit because of the raffia they just don't really go with the satin skirt they also feel very heavy against the very light satin skirt the skirt is very flowy nice and lightweight um, it feels very summery and this just feels really really heavy against the satin so I don't think the style of the shoe really works with the outfit but apart from that I don't think it's a really flattering option paired with a skirt because of the strap that wraps around your ankle and um, I know a lot of you might have heard about like black shoes or black heels that you shouldn't go for a strap around your ankle because it cuts your leg in half and it's not necessarily only for black shoes uh, something like this that it has an ivory strap will do the same um, because when it's wrapped around your ankle, it's just really, really thick. So it just cuts your foot off right where it wraps. And it's just not a flattering option. So that is why I recommend going for something like this. It still has the little strap around your ankle, but it's so minimal. You almost don't see it. Um, the rest of the shoe also is really streamlined and minimal the heel is nice and thin it's not super high so very comfortable but it's nice and thin and overall the style of this shoe goes a lot better with the satin skirt and it's also a lot more flattering so um, a really really versatile shoe style then in the next clip i actually have on what i'm wearing now so a pair of kind of more relaxed balloon style jeans um and the reason why I love jeans is the fact that you can really style any type of shoe with them. Um, there obviously are occasions where it won't work, but for the most part, you can really style them with a lot of different shoes. I don't think they work with the wedges, and when I thought about it, I don't really think wedges really go with any style of jeans. Um, again, it might not be a very popular opinion, um, but I just don't think that it works. In the case of the balloon jeans, the um, wedges just feel very heavy because the fabric, um, there's just a lot of fabric in the jeans. You want something that's more minimal and streamlined to kind of balance the volume. And you just don't get that with the wedges. They feel very, very heavy and clunky. And they also cut off my ankle at just the wrong spot. So not very flattering. So again, that's why I recommend going for a strappy sandal. Because the moment I switch to the strappy sandal, it, it's a game changer. It's a lot more flattering. It feels much more balanced in terms of proportions. Where I have the very voluminous style of jeans. And then the very streamlined, minimal, strappy sandals. So if you ask me... 
what style of heels you should have for summer it is definitely a pair of minimal strappy heels um, you don't have to go for white you can go for a nude color or even for black or a metallic um, but the style is what I want to emphasize and <laughs> Circling back to those wedges, um, I was so excited when we moved to Canada and I could finally get my hands on Castagna wedges and I actually have them in the ivory and in black and later on I realized that they are not a really versatile pair of shoes. Um, there are definitely a lot more styles out there that are much more versatile and flattering than these. Will I ever get rid of them? Probably not. Um, but nine times out of ten I would probably pick these heels over the wedges and that is it for today gosh it felt like a marathon but honestly I could have gone on hours and hours talking about styling shoes um, and tips on which styles go with which outfit etc um, but I think what I shared with you today will definitely be really helpful and help you in choosing the right styles um, and just what to look out for when you pick your shoes for your outfit um, so if you liked this video please leave me a comment down below and if you want me to dive into more detail on a specific style of shoe then I would be happy to do that as I said um, I can go on and on and on about shoes um, so that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in next week's video bye